All right, so check it out. We have Native. They wanted to jump on board and help support the channel. I think they might be sending me a message. They sent me the spray bottle deodorants. Nah, I'm fresh. Can't be me. Whether you're driving an S197 or whether you're driving an S550. Friends over at Native hooked it up today. Their deodorant and body sprays are aluminum, paraben, and hydrocarbon propellant free and doubles as if a fragrance spray. Bonus points, it won't turn your clothing yellow. We got their cucumber and mint, eucalyptus and mint, which is personally the one I wear, so good. And then we have the coconut and vanilla. But not only does Native have deodorants, they have other stuff as well on their website. Use my link in the description and the promo code DV Productions to save 20% off your first order at Native. Thank you so much, Native. Link in the description, guys. Let's get on with today's video. I think these were really for you, though. This offer is available site-wide, but only for a limited time, so stock up and save. I love it. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. But I hope everybody's having a blessed day, man. We got... Mr. Electra out here today alongside Blucifer and I know in a previous video the last time I was over here I was like Joel we got to get these cars out just for a little joy ride a little cruise because it's been over a year and some change it's, it's just too long it's unacceptable it's too long best Mustangs ever created are sitting right here so that is the plan for today but you got to do me a huge favor drop a like on this video guys 2,000 likes let's get it we need a thousand likes for Blucifer and we need a thousand likes for Electra and while you're at it, after liking the video, comment down below which S197 are you taking? Are you taking the Deep Impact Blue Whipple Charged? Are you taking the Grabber Blue Paxson Charged? Both really, really nice cars, two different setups, and we're going to experience both of these today. And maybe we'll even get Joel to drive his first Paxson S197. Dude, it's getting hot, man. We got a 90 degree day. You feel that? You feel it just hits your skin? I'm going back inside. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought old girl out. You've been driving it a little bit. It's enjoyable, isn't it? Just coming out of like a 10 speed car, like, you know, the ST, and then you get into this raw machine and it's just, they're a blast. We'll take these things for a ride. I can't even take you seriously. Why, dude? I look fine. <laughs> you look great. I look normal. <laughs> totally legal too, so. Dude, it is hot. My car is going to be hating these temps. <laughs> start up this hot air sucking in machine it is not gonna be happy dude these temps out here are over 90 right now so she gonna be toasty Ooh. toasty toasty boys toasty toasty I'm gonna miss this I'm not gonna drive this thing for nine days cuz like I said I'm in Costa Rica for my honeymoon so Lucifer future Lucifer I miss you feels good to see Electra out Electra and Lucifer out and about it's been a minute temps are at 90 degrees and our cylinder head is at 194 and gradually climbing that'll probably sit anywhere around 205 to 206 but hopefully once we hit the highway it'll be a little bit better but these cars they do not like the heat that's for sure and his might be a little bit better about the heat I think those cars with the you know the whipples the VMPs and stuff I want to say they run a tad bit cooler unless you're obviously beating on the car then it gets heat soaked pretty quick that didn't take long Burning up, dude.
toasty. 97 degrees with the inlet air temps. is so obnoxious I love it <laughs> Jesus legit a jet plane ah oh, I hope it comes through the camera as like as I hear it so intoxicating man it's it's such a joy to drive when it's making that much noise about the VMP on this setup not gonna lie like the down low torque it's just a trade-off man you just got to get used to it but that trade-off from that torquing is down low and then with this kind of blower up top she just eats but look at that 214 cylinder head god she's not happy it's that hot out here today it's just out of nowhere I don't know what I'm gonna do during the summer for real you can't really be out here beating on these cars midday like this it's just that's hot man your temps are up or what? yeah what are your temps sitting at uh, cylinder head is at 196 damn that's cooler than mine 217 yeah, but I get this big ass yeah I should probably pull that vent I have that under yeah that'll that'll clear up sure. I know I'm just worried about raining that's the only issue. Get stuck in the rain. I got a big ass hole. Yeah, that's true. I might have to do that for real. But let's grab a thumbnail while we're here. Um, do you want to just trade here? Yeah. Like, you want to just drive it from here and we can just go for a quick little yeah. lap? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Let me take some thumbnails real quick. Okay. Well, the first cruise with both of the S197s was a success, other than the heat not really allowing us to beat on them. Uh, I was just talking with Joel. You know, he has this stalker hood that has an open extractor scoop there. Mine has it but the only place where it extracts is very small slit right here now i can take off the undershield of that which i'm thinking i'm going to do because that will release a ton of flowing air and extract all the heat out of there so i'm probably going to do that only thing that worries me is like if it rains i cannot drive the car or the rain is actually going to soak the engine bay regardless so i don't know how i feel about that that's kind of the, one of the things that's worrying me right now about pulling that because I do like to drive it and you know I might get stuck in the rain or if I travel it's a, it's a given I gotta put it on but I'm gonna figure something out to get this heat out of there because it gets really toasty but I think we're gonna park Electra you're gonna drive the old Paxson if you want me to yeah let's do it you man see how I'm driving I right? want to see yeah yeah <laughs> I want to see your reaction okay just it's gonna feel completely different it sounds really can, good can you hear it yes. like next I can to you hear it behind me beside really? me yeah my mind don't even sound like it's on yeah all I, is, all I hear is that whistle so yeah it sounds really good nice well yeah. go ahead and park old girl and give it the keys to blucifer
<laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I'm short. There she goes. All right, we got to go windows down with this. Sounds like a chat, right? <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Sweet spot right there, it does all the whistling. Yeah. Like compared to my old setup, it's just so different. I'm just used to buying where it's there. Yeah. You know, so when I go to do that, it, there's no delay or lag. Yeah, exactly. It, it's just there. And you really don't feel it until you're at like 4,500 RPM, so you gotta be screaming. Right. Sounds good though. It's fun, of, right? <laughs> makes a lot of cool sounds, man. Yeah. <laughs> Passenger seat for the first time. Look at this pollen. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to come back out. I, you need a cool night in this thing. It's definitely falling on its face. It I don't want to say falling on it. It ain't, it ain't giving it. It ain't allowing it to give it the beans. That's for sure. Nonetheless, though, super fun. Definitely gonna have to work on some cooling because we're just getting into the summer months. So she hot, huh? Oh shit. <laughs> Rest you on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely have to come back out when it's nice and cool. Let them drive it again. Because she's definitely fun when it's cool. When I was data logging this car with Lund, I had some really nice 60, 65 degree days and it loves it. That's the thing about these Century Blowers though. Obviously, both boosted cars love the cooler weather, but these things thrive off of cool weather. Hence the boost weather saying when it's nice out. But she does good. We need to get you to. Let me drive yours and you drive mine. Yeah. And that way he could remember. Oh God, yeah. How different I, I remember, I remember. Just for freaking down low, these things yeah. barely give it gas and it's 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 up in peppy. That's Well, like I said, when you drive something for a while, you tend to get used to what yeah, you got. Yeah, definitely. Then, uh, how the difference. And like I said, I'm used to how this one is. So when I stomp on that, I was expecting something that uh -huh. happened different. And yeah. then, you know, and you saw me earlier. It was just, this thing will still eat. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yep, yep. Usually like with these to kind of mimic 
how the VMP felt stepping on it. Like if I was in third gear with the VMP at 2000, I could step on it and it was there. Right. This one, usually I have to be at, in second gear at about 4K. Right. When you hit it at 4K, it, it rips. Yeah. See, but, this one feels good at like three. It, yeah. It seems like normal. I, and I know it's weird to say that because of the type of blower it is, but for some reason, I like three grand for this car. That's when it wants to go. Mm -hmm. You know, three grand and up. It, yep. You know, and it drives normal anything below that. And you can even feel it when you're driving. You'll feel it kind of hesitate into you, it. No, yeah, lunge you into it a uh -huh. little bit. So, it, like I said, this blower has always felt different to me compared to like the other type of blower or, you know, like your VMP. Mm -hmm. You know, it felt a little different than that. But, like I said, can't, can't complain about them. That's no, yeah. All. No, <laughs> so they're for sure. Way, either way. So. Yep. But, all right, guys, I don't know where I'm going to take this vlog, but. There you go, Lucifer and Electro.